guys, welcome back to His or Hers. I'm Kaylee. I'm Jesse. And today we are talking about the young man that spent his financial aid like a boss. <laughs> That's what his video's name. About two months ago, a young man uploaded a video of how he received $2,500 in financial aid from his school for supplies and textbooks for his class and how he instead chose to surprise his girlfriend with a trip to Thailand. <laughs> Asshole. They posted the video on their YouTube channel and it went viral. There was a lot of controversy with this video because a lot of people think obviously it was sweet and the other half of people think that it was financial aid, not vacation money. I'd say we're gonna be talking about what we agree on in the situation and what we disagree on. We both agree that Thailand is absolutely gorgeous. It makes us want to go there. It's my number one place I want to go. The camera that he used is absolutely magnificent um, and the drone cameras he used are just as great. So of course, envious of that. <laughs> and we both agree that his girlfriend's butt shots. There was a little too many of them. <laughs> it's repetitive shots of her ass. That was a little weird. Um, everyone's saying that he's such a sweet boyfriend. I'm not really sure if it was her, his idea or her idea. But it's a little weird that you post your girlfriend's butt on the internet so much. Well, it makes you almost question <laughs> what you're watching for a second there. Aiden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's really hard for the financial aid system to be able to detect whether or not students are going to spend their financial aid money responsibly. At the end of your FAFSA, you have to agree that you're not going to sit there and do things like this. So no fun for you. No butt shots. So the argument here is whether or not he should be able to spend the financial aid money the way he did. The way he did. I forgot. I forgot what I was gonna say. I don't see a problem with how he spent his money because he said that the classes that he was taking, they don't require books, they don't require supplies. I guess he could have just had the money in a savings, that would have been the smart thing to do. But then again, it's like, who wouldn't want to educate themselves traveling around the world, seeing another culture? When a school decides to give a student financial aid, the student is expected to make the responsible choice. They're supposed to use it strictly for school purposes or school related purposes. This guy did not go to Thailand as a school project. He wanted to impress his significant other. It's a sweet gesture. You can't deny that. I mean, surprising somebody with the, somewhere they want to go, obviously. Sure, it's thoughtful. It's sweet. That still doesn't make it right. There's many people out there that that need financial aid and that unfortunately don't get it. The thing is, financial aid, yes, is used for supplies and whatever else. Okay, but if that's the case, I know some people that go out to eat at restaurants every other day and they use their financial aid card. Okay, going to BJ's every day is not a necessity. BJ's the restaurant. Oh, just, yeah. Just, just to clear that up. So there's that, or people use it for gas, let's say, to travel to wherever they want to go. Gas is acceptable. I don't know where they're going, but it's under the list of things that are okay. They want to buy decor for their room that's more expensive than it should be. That's under the list of perfectly okay. I don't see this as being a bad thing. I think, yeah, like how he said, it was sweet and very thoughtful. Obviously, I would be like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> like if someone came to me and was like, I'm taking you to Thailand or Hawaii, I'd be like, I don't, I'm not even gonna ask no questions. Like, you just take me. Who knows? They could have learned so much about this culture. They gained experience that you can never gain in school. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not the same. It's unattainable through a textbook. Whatever. They gave him the money. Technically, he's right. It's his money. He can do as he wants with it. And if he was like, if, like, let's say he checked the syllabus and he was like, okay, this class doesn't need any books or supplies, whatever, then I guess, you know. It's done, it's already done. Why are we gonna get mad about it? <laughs> when you accept the financial aid money, you're accepting the terms that come with it, which are you use the money responsibly. See, he accepted those terms. 
I'm not saying that I'm not saying he should pay the money back, but I do definitely think he, he should not receive financial aid again. Everyone should get tuition waivers because it's absolutely ridiculous. The price of the like it's stupid. Okay, socialist okay. Bernie supporter. Oh hell yeah, dude. Okay, so what should I get in trouble for going to Target and you know buying some face primer? You should use your money responsibly. Money Coming responsibly. from the guy that bought a button-up Pikachu shirt. From with my hard-earned money. Our hard-earned money. So you're trying to tell me that I don't need my face primer. Not at the expense of taxpayers. It's hot. <laughs> it's fucking hot in here. Dude, Hurry up, it. let's wrap this okay. up. Should I not be able to spend my financial aid on the things that I think are important to me? No, imp for the, okay, <laughs> like, like people. You do not spend your financial aid money on things that you feel are important to you. But that's what you helps me get my money. You spend financial <laughs> aid money on stuff that's related to schoolwork or school in general. I don't blame him. I blame the school. Why the no school? film major means that much money. Okay, well, it's not up to the school. It's up to... Then whoever it's up to, you're doing a bad job. And because of you, things like this are happening. And because of you, people like him are now blaming people like him. It's ridiculous. We need to blame the person that is the people that are giving out this money to the people that don't need it. I don't think he had the right to spend that money, especially because it's not just coming out of uh, the school's pocket. It's not coming out of my pocket. It is. You're a taxpayer. It's coming. It's coming. I don't pay taxes. Yes, you do. Oh, Any right. person that, even even off YouTube, it's coming out of my pocket. It's coming out of her her pocket. It's coming out of your pocket. So no, he did not have a right to spend that money. He should have done so responsibly. He obviously didn't. Strip him from financial aid. It will make me happy. And I'm sure it'll make many of you happy because he has just as oh. many he has just as many dislikes as he has likes on that video. So I'm pretty sure the majority of you agree with me and not with her. So who do you agree with? Oh, sorry, you say that. I forgot. Do you even know what's going on? Are you just so the money's just getting to your head? I, I'm I'm just done. It's extremely hot here. <laughs> These fucking lights. Whose side are you on? His? Or hers. Whatever you guys think, comment below, let us know. And if you like what you saw and you want to keep seeing more stuff like you saw, then don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, don't do anything. Thank you for the view. Bye. Oh, we didn't have any cameos.